So, um, mm. Stuff from last time, uh, the, there's this other core day seven. I have the theory that if you just like go home and practice for an hour, you're gonna be just like killing this song and like reading the tab, like we talked about. You're pretty much just thinking this is a shape, this is a shape, as yeah. opposed to and this one's called E, this one's called A seven. Not like any more deep thought required about that. So yeah, just go hang it out, man. Um, you've gotten better, you just don't realize it. So we're doing this other thing um, today. Uh, that's a riff instead of rhythm guitar. It's not lead guitar, but it's kind of the in-between bit. Uh, that's this thing we were doing where you were going. We're just picking down two strings at a time. In order to hit two strings and not accidentally hit the string below it, it's going to be kind of a down and away motion, which is what you already do it intuitively, uh, just to hit two strings. So yeah, there it is. There's the first thing we're doing. It's just I'm here and I'm there and I'm here and I'm there. We're not picking up our first finger. It's just chilling out there. And when that happens four times, or you could just sit here and do it until you're comfortable with it. And then the good news is the next thing, I have, and that's called the one chord, as in do re mi fa so la ti do, the first one. Well, the chord we're playing right here, and the one, two, three, four of them. So like the four chord, there's three chords in blue songs, and it all go one, four, five. So one, four, five. So yeah, um, then we're just moving it down towards the ground. Which if we look at our A7 chord, it's the exact same shit except for uh, you know, there it is, and then back to here. The only other thing we're doing is this two-note power chord. It looks like you already know that shape, which is good for B. Where we're just gonna, and that's the five chord, as in one, two, three, four, five. Just like there is this thing you know exists that goes the way you do. Even if you don't know how to play it on a musical instrument, you've been hearing it your whole life. That's what we're talking about with one, four, five. But totally just think about the shapes and shit. So yeah, there, there. It's harder to do like. So we're just gonna go. So that, and our whole song's gonna go, it's a 12 bar blues, so like on the page. So just stop and get to doing all three of those things separately, like they're separate ideas. Um, but yeah, the song's gonna go E four times, A twice, E twice. So let's just start with that section. It's gonna sound like one, two, three, four, two of these. Then it goes the other thing. Okay. And this would be the beginning of the song again. So at that, so there you go. There's the thing you're working on. Um, the other thing we put on the on the page was this turnaround. And where the turnaround goes is right like at the end when you switch back to eat at the very end, and you're and I was like just sitting on it. Um, and it kind of sounded like boring, so guys started going, you know, to get back to the, st the top of the progression or, or like whatever, but we we're going, which is something you've heard a bunch of times. So yeah, it's like this shape we were doing during the lesson, I wrote it on your tab, I'm using my middle and ring finger. It's like D, but with the wrong fingers, two frets higher, and we're just picking single strings going here, you move back, you move back, E. So just kind of stop and learn that as a separate thing. Cool. So now you should be able to do that, just like you kind of just go like, this is the thing I can do, and then you can play the other stuff. So combining that would be. You know, just where I was like, here's where the turnaround goes with an arrow in the song. You just do it there. Here's what I mean. We're going to E four times. Third time. Fourth time. E twice. It's called turnaround because it gets you back to the beginning of the song. So 
there we go. If you want to try to work that into the other stuff you're doing, go for it. But anything that you end up doing, like as a guest, is going to be fine for what to do after you get to there. But we'd be psyched if you just got through it once. Yeah. And, and you, you know, you go, you're at this part. Um, so that's the <laughs> stuff we're doing, and uh, you know, uh, just just go for it. You know, the snowboarding thing.